six of Pete Prisco's expert picks. Pete, we've got the Carolina Panthers up against the Philadelphia Eagles, and it looks like you're riding the back-to-back -back road team. Carolina Panthers have got wins the last two weeks. Yeah, they bucked my trend last week, didn't they? They and did. The yes, they did. But <laughs> you know what? They're back home. Cam Newton has found something. He's playing good football. But you know who's really found something? Who's that? Mike Shula. Oh. He's done a great job of scheming up guys to get open uh, and taking a little bit of the heat off of Cam Newton. You know, shovel passes, misdirection stuff, keying on his ability to run the football. The Eagles have a good defensive front. The Panthers don't have a good offensive line. That's why Cam's ability to move will be a factor in this. I think Carson Wentz has played very good football for the Eagles, Brady, but he's inconsistent. I think you're going to see the inconsistency here. I like Carolina minus the points in this game on a short week. Yeah, I don't know that Wentz is going to have a running game. On top of that, you know, we kind of forget Cam Newton was coming off uh, a throwing shoulder surgery. So as the season's got on, he's gotten better. So what do you think about the New England Patriots going to New York to take out the 3-2 and two Jets? This is for first place in the division. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I thought the Jets would go 0-16. Kudos to Todd Bowles for getting this team to win three straight games. But now comes the New England Patriots. Now, they're playing consecutive road games. But they had 10 days off. Remember, okay. they played on a Thursday yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of pushes that to the side a little bit. Uh, the defense played better against Tampa Bay. Still not good, but better. They don't score on the other side of the football, the Jets. So I think this is a Tom Brady game. Love the Patriots in this spot, minus the 9.5. I just don't think the Jets' secondary can match up with the likes of Brendan Cooks and Chris Hogan and everyone else. And Gronk so, should you know. be back in this game, too. Do they think. even need him? Yes. You always <laughs> need Gronk. Okay. And then last one, Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the L.A. Rams. Pete, who do you like? I like Jacksonville, minus the two and a half. I think that defense is very good, really good, and they showed that against the Steelers. But more so for this game is the Seattle effect. Whenever you play the Seahawks, it's a war, physical war. They, after. they beat you up. You saw what happened to Tennessee a couple weeks ago. Yeah. They beat Seattle, then went down to Houston and got destroyed. I think L.A.'s in for a long trip, early start. It's going to be a tough game for them. I like Jacksonville, minus the two and a half. Here's my question, though, in rebuttal. All right. The Rams are going to take away the running game for the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're going to put they this all on the shoulders. They haven't been good against the run. But that will be the M.O. of that Rams defense. They're going to take away the run. Can Blake Bortles get them the win versus the Rams? Throwing. The other side, can can Jared Goff get the win against the Jaguars defense? Which defense is better in this Fair game? Fair argument. Which Fair defense argument. Is Jaguars better? is playing better right they now. They are better. There you have it, the Panthers, Patriots, and Jaguars for Pete Prisco's expert picks.